This video will show you how to install Boost Auto Parts wireless phone charger into your 2014 to 2018 Silverado or Sierra 1500 truck or 2015 to 2019 Silverado or Sierra 2500 or 3500 truck. This install is specifically for those originally with a full center console without wireless charging. To get all the parts shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Remove the rubber insert at the rear of the console. Remove the four T15 screws. Use a trim tool to remove the rear console area. Once the clips are released, pull straight up and it will lift up. Squeeze the tab at the bottom of the 12 volt outlet and unplug the connector. Plug the vehicle harness into the black connector on the Boost Auto Parts plug and play harness. Then, Take the gray connector from the Boost Auto Parts harness and plug that into the original 12 volt outlet. Use a trim tool to remove the plastic cover on the bottom side of the console lid. Remove the original mat from the center console. Using a half inch drill bit, go to the top left corner of the shroud and drill at a 45 degree angle straight through. Remove the front and rear T15 screws. There will be four of them. These will be replaced with longer screws provided in the Boost Auto Parts charger. Take the Boost Auto Parts wireless phone charger and guide it into position. Take the wiring harness and place it through the hole that you recently drilled. Slide it up into position. The button should face towards the rear. Place the four screws provided by Boost Auto Parts into position and secure them down. Be careful not to over tighten it as it can damage the adapter plate. Take the rubber mat provided by Boost Auto Parts and place it into position. Pass the wiring harness directly under the left hinge, then pull a little bit of slack through so that the lid will be able to open and close. Plug the harness directly into the charger. Cycle the key to the on position and make sure the lights come on on the charger. Bring the trim cover and the underside of the console into place. Guide the wiring harness so nothing pinches. Then snap the trim cover back on, making sure the wires do not pinch. The wiring harness will pass directly behind the hinge, as shown right here. Be sure the wires are not pinching. Tuck the wiring harness up, making sure it will not pinch. Then bring this rear trim panel into place. It latches in from the top down. Make sure all the trim clips are fully engaged. Replace the four T15 screws at the back. Place the rubber rear console insert. Your installation is now complete. The charger does have two modes. The default mode, mode one, will have a red resting light when nothing is on it. When a phone is charging, the light will change from red to blue. Mode two will have no resting light but when a phone is charging, it will become a solid blue light indicating the phone is charging. To turn off the charger at any point in time, press and hold the button for three seconds. To get these parts and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.